of those of you who need to answer the water section of resources rather than the energy and the food, this is what you kind of need to know. The key definitions you need to understand is water insecurity and water stress. Water insecurity is when people don't have enough water to maintain well a good quality of life and good health due to poor water supplies. Water stress is when an area has got less than 1,700 uh, square meter of water available per person. Okay, um, a human a cause of insecurity, uh, that insecurity can be caused by ourselves. Through pollution, we, we contaminate our own water supplies through uh, waste being dumped into water sources. Uh, poverty, physically can't afford or access the clean water, so you rely on the less uh, treated water. Limited infrastructure, not enough pipes. In the UK, we've got pipes, but they leak unbelievably uh, loads, so we lose loads of water there. Over abstraction, uh, over abstraction. okay, so think of Lake Mead, Lake, Lake Powell behind uh, the Hoover Dam in the USA. Levels are way lower than they should be because they, Las Vegas uses way too much water for uh, for its climate. Okay, there's also physical causes. Climate. Some parts of the world just don't get much rain. Uh, drought. Some parts of the world dry out much quicker because of the change in our climates, as the rivers and lakes dry out. Other areas have uh, the type of rock. If you've got impermeable rock, water won't infiltrate, so it won't fill up the aquifers. If you've got permeable rock, water will infiltrate into the soil and refill these aquifers. Okay, the impacts of these in, of this insecurity, food production, lack of water means you can't irrigate your crops, means crops might die, and therefore there's a risk of starvation and famine. Uh, industrial output, industry depends on water, so lack of water will negatively impact development. It'll slow production down, it'll reduce the amount of exports a country can provide. Okay, main reason being industry needs water often to either clean water, uh, clean uh, their goods, uh, or um, think of nuclear to cool um, reactors down and power stations down. Okay, so there's a big issue if those water levels go down. At time of recording, um, there's a dam in Ukraine that's just been bombed um, and it's it reduced the level of the water behind the dam in uh, Zaporizhia province. Uh, one of the issues is Zaporizhia nuclear power plant relies on the water behind the dam to cool itself down. If the water levels go too far down because the dam's broken, there's no way to cool that nuclear power plant. Um, so yeah, water conflict, rivers cost, uh, rivers cross borders can cause conflict. Syria, Darfur, the most famous example people look talk about is River Nile between Egypt, Sudan, and Ethiopia. Ethiopia is building the great, uh, Grand Ren uh, Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, um, which is really annoying. Um, uh, Egypt, because it in essence means that. Um, uh, Ethiopia controls the volume of water. There's also disease and pollution, cholera. Uh, in Haiti, cholera outbreak occurs because world cholera enters the only main, uh, the um, Artibonit River, which is the only main water source in, in that part of the country, okay? Um, Water supply strategies. One of them is you can divert water from uh, from uh, uh, from stored uh, divert water that's being stored in on the ground. You can build dams and reservoirs to control the flow, store water in the case of emergencies. You've got a picture here of the said Hoover Dam. You can see the white line, by the way, at the back, which is you can see the lower levels. Water transfer. You move water from areas of surplus to deficit. The UK does a lot of that. Desalinate in Israel is extremely good at that. Desalinate water to produce fresh drinking water for the country is a good way to overcome it. It's expensive. It reduces it uses a huge amount of power. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it makes water taste horrible. Uh, absolutely disgusting. Uh, Malta has um, has that, and uh, water tastes weird. Um, case study uh, context: uh, Lesotho is basically often considered the water tower of, Af of sub-Saharan sub Africa. It's is a high altitude landlocked country within Africa higher amount of rainfall and it provides 70 percent of its gdp is due to selling water to south africa for instance okay which is in itself prone to droughts disadvantage they've had to displace 300,000 people in order to build the infrastructure and the dams they've destroyed habitats and ecosystems and up to 40 percent of water is lost in leakage due to poor infrastructure so it doesn't actually even make it to parts of south africa without this supply Okay, sustainable water strategies, definition of a sustainable water strategy, it ensures water supplies don't cause damage to the environment while supporting the local economy. Three main strategies as are water conservatism, uh, conservatism uh, conservation, sorry, is to aim to reduce water that's wasted. So it could be water harvesting, it could be um, using your water butt or drip irrigation. Groundwater management, you monitor ex extraction laws, you reduce the amount of water people can and can't take. You recycle grey water. So the, one of the best examples of kind of uh, I've, I've thought of is, or this has heard people mention is, why do we flush clean water down the toilet? Utter nonsense. We should be flushing, I don't know, soapy water from your shower. We could collect that. It would be much more efficient use of grey water in this case. Okay, There's no need to to flush some clean water down the toilet for every time you have a wee. Um, so yeah, you then have uh, the Waka River Basin, which is an example of, of a sustainable practice. It's in India. They use uh, local um, uh, traditional knowledge that is more suited to the environment. You've got a few facts about here, if that is the case that you learned.